Globally, organisations across the supply chain are adopting new strategies and collaborating to make our food supply chains more sustainable. Once aspirational, circular economies are now being established. No one organisation can deliver this end game of circularity we need. Collaborations with organisations like Plastic Energy, like with Red Cycle, these are partners that are bringing technologies and capability to make these high-performance plastics circular. For Circular Plastics technology developer Plastic Energy, Sealed Air provides vital collaboration along the supply chain. The need for collaboration to succeed uh, in Australia is uh, critical. Technology is only part of the solution, but nothing will happen without utilising the knowledge and experience of each company within the value chain. The collaboration has led to producing packaging, which instead of going to landfill, can be recycled again and again back into food contact materials. President of Sealed Air Asia Pacific, Alessandra Fasine, underlines the importance of brands working together. Let's join hands and collaborate to build and promote circular economy, enabling packaging to be recovered by actively engaging with partners to deliver recyclable materials that are actually recycled. An example is Sealed Air joining ExxonMobil and grocery store a whole Dalhousie in the US to divert landfill plastic through advanced recycling. So it is Sealed Air teaming up with a resin maker and a large grocery store company to recycle flexible packaging for new food grade applications. And this is just one example. Getting this right, of course, is a big deal, but it can be done in small steps. For example, meat packaging. These absorbent pads, millions and millions of them end up in landfill every year. So Sealed Air has redesigned its packaging so they're not needed. That's another step forward for recycling. The recyclable Cryovac Hydrolock padless tray found in the meat and seafood retail case uses inbuilt cells to retain moisture. It is products like these which are enabling the circular economy. Sealed Air is designing for supply chain efficiency, making sure we eliminate waste in supply chain. We're designing to delight consumers so that they have a good experience. And these innovations continue. Sealed Air overcame a problem for Australia's largest family-owned pork producer whose black trays were sent to landfill. Through a packaging redesign and the use of a new dye, consumers can now recycle Cryovac brand black trays. But it has this lovely blue dye running through it, which makes it recognisable to the infrared scanners in the sorting plants at the recycling plants. So for us, this was just a no-brainer as it allowed us to switch over to a black tray, which was curbside recyclable. And of course, end consumers also have a critical role to play. So Alan, what, what have you bought here today? Well, actually I bought a piece of meat packaging and my week's collection of soft plastics. How important is it that people do recycle like this? Consumers are critical. Recycling starts with the consumer putting a piece of plastic in the right location. But we have a challenge here where consumers don't really do want to recycle, but don't always know exactly how or where. And it's critical we use smart packaging solutions to deliver that information and enable the right outcomes. The providers of the bins at stores like Coles and Woolworths place a high value on the relationship with Sealed Air. And one of the reasons that we uh, really value this partnership so highly is because Sealed Air is so incredibly innovative. It truly is a partnership. And I think what's important when you're talking about the value chain of soft plastics is that you need the material entering the marketplace to be of the highest quality and most recyclable. For retailers, it's critical to deliver a low carbon circular economy. That means making the right choices in packaging materials that deliver an efficient, high performance supply chain, but at the same time can be circular. We have to get all of that right and make a decision with whole of life cycle thinking.